going up the elevator one last time at her office. Last time. Last time. We're moving out. All of our stuff's almost gone, except for that thing. We're, we're almost good to go. We're moving to our new offices today. We left the couch. Whoever wants the couch can come get it for free. But by the time you see this video, it'll probably already be gone or burned or chopped up in a million pieces, I don't know. And our sticker, what about our sticker? We can't get that off the glass, so whoever moves in here is gonna be like, who's freaking mad? Any last words, guys? I feel the same office. We had good times. You know what I'm not gonna miss? Lack of air conditioning on the weekends and in the evenings. There we are, leaving our old office building. Here we go. We're gonna hit the puddle. Yeah! Show who's boss. <laughs> Look at the water run down this. <laughs> it's like a river. Four flights of stairs later. This is our new office space. Got a balcony out there. Another balcony right here. This is where we're gonna be for the next few months. Cool, huh? Totally here. No, no, get your camera so you can see each other. There you go. So, so everybody look at the road. So I'm here with Channel Fever Rat. Yeah. And we're having a lunch meeting. I'm here with Patrick. What's your channel? Oh, um, Spoonful of Geek. I'm I'm here with Spoonful of Geek. And we're we oh, we just got our food, so we're we're showing you. <laughs> Gotta readjust this a bit. Hey, let's use the lens cap. Oh, lens cap made it perfect. Hey guys, today I've been making a space gun. I uh, have to go down to this uh, little little sh wood shop in Orem to get a new scroll saw blade because I broke my, my dad's scroll saw blade. Got the spiral blades that to replace the, the blade that it broke on here so I can finish cutting out some detail parts. But basically I drew this in Adobe Illustrator. So this looks weird, it's not the finished gun. Here's the barrel kind of slides in here. I haven't glued this in yet. And I've been building this in my dad's wood shop because I don't got a wood shop and I wanted to make a really nice gun for this epic video that we're gonna be making for freaking rad. That's what I got done so far. Maybe it should shoot like plasmas. <laughs> this is gonna be pretty epic. So we're trying to do our talking head stuff for our BTS channel, but there's a guy down there lawn mowing his lawn and it's gonna interfere with our mic. Where'd he go? I don't know. I can hear it, but I can't see him. He's been out there for like an hour. Like how big is his lawn? He has a tiny lawn. You can see it from here. Did you guys know that Zeb used to be a foot bag champion? What were you in the world? Like 12th? 13th. 13th. He used not, to be. Not anymore. <laughs> not anymore. <laughs> No more lawnmower. No we can more. do it now. All right, I have to hold that camera, so I gotta put this camera down. Sorry, guys. So, me and Sam are going to this high school behind us to uh, talk about filmmaking, because that's what we do, we make films. It's one of Sam's friends, Jessica. So we're gonna go talk about that. It's some class, so we'll see how it goes. So Sam's doing a little bit of Photoshop. What are you doing today, Sam? Vince right here has got this lovely woman giving a kiss. I'm like, no. That yeah, needs to be Sam's Sam. totally jealous. That needs to be Sam right there, so. All right, Sam's all done. You still, you're still gonna mess with the color, right? No, <laughs> no you're done? Why okay. Why get rid of her in the background? <laughs> It'll take two seconds, it's all blown out white. <laughs> it looks way better. Sam's a master of Photoshop. He does wizard stuff with it. Yeah, that looks way good. I like that. In case you guys haven't seen, Vince is our Nathan Drake and our newest video we released yesterday. But by the time you see this video, it would have been like earlier this month, I think. No, I win. What was the conversation? He said, I win. 
Oh, what it, it's already saw it. He's already seen it? <laughs> he liked it. I, I expect a response to come any second now. He, he commented somewhere. What did he comment? What did he say? Well, I just got my new phone wallpaper now. <laughs> <laughs> my phone wallpaper now? <laughs> hey guys, I'm really excited for a few reasons this morning. One, our Uncharted 4 in real life gameplay third person video that we, we just finished last week has 60,000 views according to YouTube. And it's 25,000 K behind because analytics say that it has a lot more views than that. Also, we just gained about 800 subscribers in the last day and a half, so sweet. Not only am I excited about that, but this little printer this morning when I got up from, from my bed, finished this little guy. Still got the support structures on. Now it may not look like much. It is actually part of a helmet. Basically, this is a project that me and some other Stony Props members were making. And uh, in Halo 5, there is no CQB helmet. And that's really disappointed us because we're, me and these other guys are really big fans of the CQB helmet. So my friend Alex Nash from, from Stony Props designed a, what he thinks a CQB helmet in Halo 5 would look like. Then he sent it over to Jeffrey over at Dutch Props and he 3D modeled it for us and sent it to us. Um, and if you don't know, he's one of our newest members from Dutch Props. He lives in the Netherlands, but you will see him at StonyCon when I video my trip to StonyCon again this year. Um, anyway, so here is basically the, the part of the helmet. This is like the cheek visor, lower visor part. So I really hope that I got the sizing right because sizing is a pain in the butt to figure out sometimes. <sighs> it's one in the morning and I just finished another print on the 3D printer. As you can see, it doesn't look right. It is too small. It looks like a giant, my body is a giant body with a tiny head on it. Tell you guys, this is a lot of wasted hours. I don't know if you can see that, but if you add all that up, it's somewhere in the 40 hours worth of print that I've done so far on this machine. It's a little discouraging. I've decided I'm gonna start over the print. Of course, after I finagle the model and make it, I'm not sure I'm gonna play with it, but I'm thinking about 10 or 20% bigger. I'm gonna go to bed because I've got to go to work and do some stuff tomorrow. And I will talk to you later, you lovely, lovely people. So you may be wondering what we're doing here sitting in a storage unit. I'm wondering. Zeb, are you wondering? I'm wondering. Oh yeah, Matt's with us. I'm wondering too. <laughs> we're helping Boston and Rennie move all this stuff. The reason why we're sitting, because the truck place didn't have the truck ready for us in time. Oh, sorry. <laughs> it's like scratching a chalkboard, Matt. You're a really cool guy. They're going up to Midville while we sit here and play on our phones. Pretty much we're gonna be sitting here for like the next half an hour. Hey look, they finally made it back! There's Rennie. There's Boston. He's got the truck. Ramp? We don't need no stinky ramp. Yeah, that's how it's done. So Boston, how good does it feel to have all your stuff moved in? Feels great, Tim. What do you got there? Uh, this is our grandmother's it's not officially a stereo realist because that's like a brand like Kodak. This is a tower uh, 3D film camera. So like way before it's time. Yeah, this was like in 19, circa 1950, 1960. Doing a documentary all about my grandma's stereo realist photography. Um, just check out Rennie in Boston. That's us. Hey guys, you made it to the end of the video. Congratulations. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Next week, I'm going to StonyCon, so the next vlog is gonna be about all the cool stuff that we're doing at StonyCon. So stay tuned for next month. So I'll see you later, you lovely, lovely people.